a useful and simple skill to uh, know about but for the jungle is how to make pitch. And pitch was used as a sort of primitive technology using resin and some other additives, charcoal, beeswax, there, there are various ways you can do it, uh, to form essentially a hot glue. So when it's, uh, you know, when pitch is, is cold, it's, it's hard and it binds, you heat it up, it goes soft, which allows you to use it as a glue. So you know, it can be very useful because being able to seal stuff in the jungle you know, is, is, it can be very useful quite often. For example, you know, even something like this, the, the bamboo water bottle, you know, I just use a stopper in the top, which is good enough to stop water sort of swilling out as long as it's held uh, vertically the right way up. But if I turn it upside down, you know, water's going to come out. But if I seal this with some pitch, then, you know, it, it's, it's a sealed unit and I can, I'd be able to carry it horizontally, not worry about water spilling out. Uh, equally, you know, the, the, um, this, this resin, actually called cutler's resin as well, was used by knife makers to uh, bind the tang of a rat tail tang um, blade in, in the handle. So, yeah, the various uses for it. It's also waterproof, which means you can waterproof uh, roofs or, you know, it was used to uh, waterproof the hulls of boats as well. So it has, you know, it has a lot of uses. If you're carrying food, you know, again, maybe using bamboo, you can seal that food in stop uh, insects getting out. Anyway, we'll, we'll just, I'll show you, you know, the, the method I use to make pitch, which is perhaps not the most refined, but it's, it's certainly quick. Um, but also the other thing to remember is that, you know, the modern equivalent in our plastic era of pitch is our thermoplastic. So any sort of plastic that melts when it's hot, you can use it also as a hot glue. And I thought I'd just show you on this, this dog bowl, uh, <laughs> It's got a hole in it, basically. You can see you know, it's coming out there. Uh, and we'll just seal it up with, you know, using, um, we'll, just use, we'll just use this big pen. But it's the same principle as using pitch, really. Okay, so here's our dog bowl, and the, the hole's just there. I think we'll seal it from this side. Draw it off a bit. Um, so yeah, I've got a little hole there. I wanna, I wanna seal it up, so I'm just gonna yeah. Get this burning, nice and hot, and then just dab in some plastic there. And this is a technique you know you could use if you, you know if you had a small hole in a kayak or something. You know you just need to do a temporary repair. You know you could do the same thing. All right, should do it. Hold it up to the light. Looks okay. Let's test it out. Yeah. In the jungle, you know, resin is, is easy to find. And you can get, I mean, you can find huge like, lumps of it like this. Uh, usually you're sort of finding it about this sort of size. Um, you know, here's some more. I'll just show you this. You get different sort of qualities. I mean, you can see this one is, is closer to what we want. It looks more like resin. It's got that sort of shiny um, element to it. This is, this is not such good stuff, you know, because you do get sort of impurities in it. You can use both. And for pitch, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't matter too much. The other ingredient, well, right, the other ingredients that are used, um, uh, Basically, charcoal is, is one of the most common ones that's used. So you powder this up and add it to the melted resin, which we'll, we'll do in a minute. Um, other things you can use, you could use eggshells, you could use um, things like K-pop fibers. Yeah, essentially, what you're doing is you're adding something that's going to act as a binding agent for the, the pitch. So the resin is going to, a bit like with fiberglass, you know, it's, it's going to hold, be held by these particles that are in the, in the melted resin, be it charcoal, cable, eggshells, whatever you use. Okay, so the first stage though um, is, is to try and get this process, this resin process, so we want to try and get rid of some of the sort of crappy bits that are stuck in, in there with the resin. And to do that, we're basically going to melt it. So that's, that's the next stage. Now there are a number of ways of doing this. Um, Basically, you're not really meant to just burn it on an open flame because when it's burning, that's some of your resins coming off, being burnt off. And I think also 
those resins, because they're probably the more volatile ones in a web as well, means that your resin may end up being a, you know, a bit more brittle. However, look, it's, it, you know, it's, it, it's, um, it swings and roundabouts. To me, burning it and, and doing it the way I'm going to show you uh, has the big advantage of being quick. And the pitch that it makes is okay. Not the best pitch in the world, but it's okay. Uh, and, you know, I, I, th I think that kind of, for me, you know, swings the balance. I'd rather do something that's quick and fast. As long as it works, I don't really care whether it's the best pitch in the world. It just needs to do its job. So what I do is, I, you know, you just need a container. Um, we want some sort of straining, you know, something to strain it with. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put some resin on top of here, light it up. The resin is going to drip down through this mesh into, into the tin. We're going to collect it there. Um, if you were out in the jungle and you didn't have any tools at all, you know, the way you would do it is you, you just get a, get a rock, chuck that in the fire, get it nice and hot. Uh, you then put the resin on top of that, let the resin melt and try and pick out, uh, you know, any sort of grotty bits that are stuck in the resin. Okay, so there's my tin. The resin's just getting going there. It's not particularly great resin, this one, but never mind. The other way of doing it is to dissolve the resin in, in uh, white spirit. Uh, then get you know take out the the sort of bits and bobs that you don't want, let the white spirit evaporate, and and then you're left with you know, very good resin. That's a sort of a proper, more proper way to do it. So just as we've you know fixed the the hole in this plastic dog bowl using the big pen, the pitch that we're making we can use to fix holes in you know in wood, uh, you know like this. So we've got a little bit of pitch here, um, and all you do is is just melt it and into the, into the hole, basically. So it's the same. All right. There we go. So let's just check it holds water. Of course, you can't use it for anything that's going to be hot. Oh, still dripping. Hang on, Let me add a bit more. In fact, I think what we can do is just heat. If you make a mistake or something goes wrong, you can just heat what you've already applied, and you know, re refix. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so we've re-waterproofed it. Okay, so that's done. Either, you know, bits of bark or wood or stuff that was in there has either been burnt off or trapped by the, the sieve. And this is the, uh, you can see the resin now that's come, come through. That's already cooled down. Normally you do all this on, a, on an open fire. I'm just doing it here. I'm, I'm going to use a gas um, cooker because it's just easy to show you. But now, what I want to do is look roughly how much um, resin I've got, and I want to add this about the same amount of charcoal. So, um, I mean, charcoal, it kind of makes sense to use charcoal because normally, you know, you've got a fire going, so you've got charcoal. As I say, there are other things you can use, uh, K-pop fibers, ground up eggshells. There are other things, but, you know, uh, charcoal is usually, usually the easiest to get your hands on. So. Um, I mean, I tend to just put in about the same amount, so I'm just going to sort of estimate it here, a little bit more, um, and then I'm just going to grind that into a powder. Okay, so here's my, gr my ground charcoal, and I really want it as fine as I can get it. Any big bits like this, either take them out or, you know, grind it a bit more. But you, um, if you leave big bits in, the pitch is gritty. Okay, so that's a bit better. A few little bits I need to dig out, but that'll do. So now all we're going to do is add that to our uh, processed resin. Like so. Now, the other ingredient um, that people put in is, uh, is beeswax or tallow, rendered fat, you know, animal fat. Um, and the idea there is to make the, uh, the pitch less brittle. Um, 
and got any beeswax. I'm just going to put in some paraffin wax. I don't know whether it's, uh, it's going to be as good, but that's all I've got, so I have to do. But I mean, you don't need to, you can, you know, that's, if you've got it, put it in. If you haven't got it, it's not the end of the world. Your pitch is still going to work. It's just not going to be as, as pliable. It's going to be slightly more brittle. So it depends what, um, what you're using it for. Right, so that's everything pretty much ready to go. Now, normally what you do is you just stick it near to the fire, let the resin melt again, uh, let the wax melt, and mix it all together. So I'm, I'm going to use a gas cooker. You can see the resin starting to melt. Okay, so once you know it's all um, you know, melted properly and uh, well mixed together, we can what we can do is collect it onto sticks. These are called like pitch sticks. Uh, you just sort of dip your stick in like that um, and grab some out. We can use our newly repaired uh, dog water bottle to cool it. And you can see there that bit, you know, how uh, you know it goes hard quite quickly. I'll just draw that bit back in. Um, and, you know, you can just keep doing this, just keep collecting um, pitch onto the stick, cooling it. Uh, you know, and then adding a bit more, and you can make the stick as you know as big as you like, really. Just be careful. I mean, this stuff, you know, it does burn if you if you get it on your skin. So you just need to be a bit careful. But you can just build up layer after layer. So it doesn't take long. Okay, so there's our finished pitch stick. So, you know, it's easy to carry around, easy to sort of apply it. You just, all you do is apply some heat here. You can melt bits of pitch onto whatever it is you're trying to seal up. Um, great fire starter as well. So it's a really simple, easy technique and, you know, can be very useful indeed.